This bout is set for one fall. Approaching the ring first from Houston, Texas, weighing 185 pounds, the best ever, Sammy Guevara. Sammy Guevara, the self-proclaimed best ever. But uh, I've had a chance to get to know Sammy Guevara, and I would say he is in the running for the worst ever. <laughs> well, I mean, just so insincere. That's yeah. part of the problem. He tries to come across as your best friend. And Excalibur, he talks behind your back. You know, that's the thing about him. I mean, he's just a little bit of a skeevy guy, of course, trying to sell his panda merchandise. Got his Sammy Guevara, Guevara.com, Sammy Guevara blogs, all of this self-promotional stuff. And when It's the all about Sammy Guevara. And when the pandas were headed back to China from the San Diego Zoo, it looks like he might have interdicted the shipment and scalped one. That's the type of cruelty you get from Sammy Guevara. And his opponent from Colston, Norfolk, England, weighing 180 pounds, Super Bad Kid C. And if you're staying up late to join us on ITV4, we thank you from the bottom of our hearts and we hope that you'll join us for Double or Nothing on ITV Box Office to see this amazing event, Double or Nothing, that we have for you tonight. But before that, we have super bad Kip Sabian making his way to the ring, Alex. The handsome hustler who got waylaid by Sammy Guevara on Friday, at Friday's weigh-in, kicked low by Guevara. And you know, Kip Sabian pledging revenge, his chance to shine. This is a huge match for both of these guys. Put in this position, leading into Double or Nothing. Order right now if you have not. It's definitely the biggest match of Kip Sabian's career. But Sammy Guevara, he's been under the bright lights before. He's competed at Triple Mania. Triple A, our promotional partner in Mexico, their big event. And he has been there. He has won championships in Triple A. Kip Sabian, you have to wonder if the butterflies, if the nerves will affect him if Sammy, Sammy Guevara is able to keep a cooler head. By the way, not only a showcase for two of the top young wrestlers in our industry, one of the top young referees as well, Aubrey Edwards getting her, her chance to shine here in All Elite Wrestling. Yeah, AEW is for everybody. That's not just the mantra as the bell sounds and the first ever singles match in All Elite Wrestling takes place. Kip Sabian, Sammy Guevara, making history here in Las Vegas. These guys are both so charismatic, right? I mean, they are the future of our wrestling business, especially here in All Elite Wrestling. Just such a great tune-up for Double or Nothing coming up in just a few minutes. Again, don't forget to order. You can stream at Bleacher Report Live, VR Live, Bleacher Report, DirecTV, Dish, cable providers throughout the U.S. and Canada, Fight.TV, for all other international locations except for the U.K. and Ireland. That's where you go, ITVBoxOffice.com. And Sammy Guevara taking the side headlock. You mentioned how charismatic that these two guys are, but that will only get you so far in All Elite Wrestling. They wouldn't be here unless they were capable. And they are two of the brightest stars, the brightest young wrestlers in the industry today as Kip Sabian reversing into a hammerlock, almost, a top wrist lock, excuse me. Nope, goes over the top, Tierras takes down Guevara and crosses his ankles. Guevara, though, kips up and out of it, making it look so easy. I'm glad you talked about charisma only taking you so far here in All Elite Wrestling. One thing that's going to make our company different, the fact that pinfalls are going to matter. Wins and losses mean something here in AEW. Yeah, big statistics-based approach. The merit system still to be unveiled, but that is something that uh, is has been one of the talking points about this promotion, and more will be revealed in the future. But right now, Sammy Guevara fighting from the bottom. Merit system greater than buddy system, right? Yeah, for sure. Say that, yes. And uh, the leg scissors and Kip Sabian springs up to his feet, escaping out from Sammy Guevara. You can see some frustration there on Guevara, right? I'm not sure how easy he thought this would be. Doesn't have a long history with Kip Sabian. He's never fought him before. All he knows is the confrontation that took place Friday as, you know, being a precursor to this. Lariat thrown back, elbow thrown by Guevara. Sabian goes up and over the top swat, swings through the legs, pushes him off, springs up. Work on Rana, takes him down. Didn't get the legs fully secured, but it was enough to disorient Guevara and bring him up into the waiting leg lariat from Sabian. 
Sabian, such a talented individual, just turned 27 years old on May 11th from Norfolk, England, Seaside, if you will, debuted on Halloween night in 2010. Norfolk, England's owned, but Sammy Guevara, Houston, Texas is owned. Back flips over. Kip Sabian, drop kick, takes Sabian off his feet. And the best ever. Soaking in the uh, admittedly mix, 50-50 mix of cheers and boos here at the MGM Grand Garden Arena. Although I think as the match goes on, fans like Sammy Guevara less and less and are getting more and more behind Kip Sabian. Guevara charging into the corner. Bandera sends him up and over the top from Sabian. Sabian fakes the drop kick. Oh, boots to the side of the head, catching Guevara on the ear. Now Kip Sabian building up ahead of steam, hits the ropes up and over the top. Guevara walks it off. Sabian lands on the apron, though. Springing off the middle rope, landing it on his feet. And this time, Kip Sabian making it look easy. This is, again, just a precursor to what you're going to get. Double or nothing order now if you have not. So simple to do so. Direct TV, satellite, dish network, cable providers, ITV box office in the UK and Ireland as well. Sabian caught unawares, as was our cameraman Sammy Guevara surprising everybody with that dive over the top, crashing to the floor. Guevara has held 11 different championships in seven different companies, the biggest of which the Triple R Cruiserweight title. Lost that a little bit earlier this year, but a guy who has had championship success before at lower levels trying for that same success here in All Elite Wrestling. Yeah, Sammy Guevara, he was announced for this singles match prior to the, uh, to the, uh, the, the Casino Battle Royale, to the format being announced, and I think he was happy. He wanted a chance to shine on his own. He didn't want 20 other guys in the ring to potentially overshadow him. He wanted the stage, the bright lights to himself. Sammy Guevara is so committed. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> what a stomp. He was pot committed to adjusting the spine of Kip Sabian and now laying in some right hands. Aubrey Edwards keeping a close eye on it. Sabian still aware. Aubrey says he can continue. Guevara so committed to becoming a pro wrestler. 30 hour drives to work different shows. 30 hours. Oh, dragon screw control. leg whip by Sabian and now Looking for the Cruciatus clutch. Oh, brings him over the top and steps his left leg over to put even more pressure, even more downward pressure on the knees of Guevara. Too close to the ropes, Excalibur. That's a, that's a young mistake, right? Too we close to the ropes, yes, but the damage may have been done. Guevara favors those high-flying attacks. And uh, if he was, uh, if, the, if that knee has been tweaked, but yes, you're exactly right, Alex. So if he was more close to the center, he could have inflicted even more punishment on Guevara, but instead gets the boot up as Guevara was charging in. Oh! Power slam. Guevara spins through. Backflip. Backflip again. Now Standing he's got shooting him. star. Cross one, two. Two count. Sabian able to kick out. Almost had him right there. Aubrey Edwards, though, right on top of it. Sabian did have his shoulder up before the count of three. Sabian did everything in his power to avoid those consecutive moonsault attacks, but Guevara bringing out a shooting star press, going directly into the pinning predicament. That's the experience edge that Guevara brings to this match. I think Guevara needs to be right on top of him. Instead, you know, staring at someone at ringside, that's not the way to be acting. You need to be right on top of Kip Sabian, or else it's going to cost you in a big time way. Just, it, he's delaying too much, in my opinion, this guy. Yeah, spending a little too much time giving Sabian a chance to come back. Sabian wants this just as much as Sammy Guevara, if not more. Sprint, or drop kick, taking Sammy Guevara off his feet. And again, just an appetizer here, a morsel, if you will, about what's to come. A double or nothing pay-per-view coming up. Penny against Penny against Penny against Chris Jericho. So excited about that. It is going to be unbelievable to have that main event. Alpha versus Omega 2. It's what the wrestling world is buzzing about. You need to order though, double or nothing. Oh, hi, common Gary by Kip Sabian. Is he Grabs the head, rolls through, PK taking Guevara down into a pinning predicament. Two count only from Aubrey Edwards. Just a two. Sabian, you can see the gears turning. What is it going to take to put away Sammy Guevara to make history here tonight 
not only in all elite wrestling, but professional wrestling history in the first ever AEW singles match. Hey, we are trending atop the UK right now. Double or nothing on Twitter. Thank you so much, ITV4. Thank you, ITVBoxOffice.com. Thank you, our UK fans, for your support of all elite wrestling. Thank you. UK and shouts to Ireland as well. Sabian, though, with that back elbow staggers. Guevara. Oh, Guevara. Call that, that Superman forearm? Yeah, that, sh that short distance Superman forearm. Hashtag AEW DON. And they go over the top. And oh! oh. <laughs> Spilling over the top, hanging on to the front chancery was both men. And a suplex on the floor. Not sure who got the better of that. Not sure how Guevara held on. Not sure how Sabian held on, but Guevara. Oh, with the better, getting the better end of that one for sure. And the AEW chants have begun here. Among the first, won't be the last. I can tell you that, Excalibur. And Guevara trying to clear out the front row. Jensen Karp being cleared out of the way as Sammy Guevara laying in shots across the back of Kip Sabian as he's got him draped across the ring, or excuse me, across the barricade. And Sammy Guevara shooting oh. star press off the to the back of Kip Sabian. I thought that was going to be a guillotine, Excalibur. I thought that's what he was going to do, drop the leg. No shooting star press, even more velocity it was behind it. It was a guillotine of sorts coming from 10,000 feet up in the air. Sammy Guevara throwing caution to the wind, throwing his body high, invoking Jushin Thunder Legger, the inventor of the shooting star press. But to my knowledge, Legger's never done it quite like that. No. And, and by the way, this is why we are trending in the UK. Number one for Double or Nothing. And America as well. Soon to be the worldwide. <laughs> you are right about that. Looking for a 630 right here. But now, Excalibur. Guevara up to the top. Calling for 630. Oh! oh! Sabian with the knees up. He's got him up on the shoulders. Deathly hollows. Might be it. Oh! First ever singles match, match in AEW. Superman Kid Sabian. What a debut by Britain's own Kip Sabian getting the victory over Sammy Guevara. Taking revenge, by the way, for the way Guevara disrespected him at the way it. Maybe this will put a little bit more humility into Sammy Guevara into the future. Absolutely nothing will beat more <laughs> humility into the head of Sammy Guevara. But if you're watching us on ITV4, aren't you glad that you stayed up to see Kip Sabian make history here tonight? And I hope you've already headed over to ITVBoxOffice.com to purchase Double or Nothing live at the top of the hour. Also available on pay-per-view, DirecTV, Dish Network, Fight TV, everywhere else in the world. It's Kip Sabian, your winner here tonight in the first ever singles match for All Elite Wrestling.